Taylor polynomials. Here in this section and for the rest of these sections in this chapter, we start a process um, called um, approximation theory. Here to approximate the value of a function um, or um, to approximate the value of a transcendental term, uh, we can approximate it by using uh, either Taylor or the Maclaurin polynomial approximations. First, uh, Taylor and Maclaurin polynomials. The definition of an nth term for the Taylor uh, expansion of a polynomial or the nth uh, Maclaurin polynomial, where f is some function that has n derivatives that exist at some uh, number c, then the polynomial piece of n, that is uh, basically just the, the, the nth representation of the polynomial, um, can be expanded by f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c plus f double prime of c divided by 2 factorial times x minus 2 to be squared plus and so on uh, plus the nth term. Um, this is called the nth Taylor polynomial for uh, f at c. The Taylor polynomial uh, expansion for uh, any term or function or value can be expanded with a plus and so on after this nth term uh, with some remainder whereby we're able to determine uh, the remainder having a limit and where does uh, the polynomial um, uh, wipes itself out. Um, well, um, at any rate, if c is equal to 0, then the above Taylor polynomial becomes known as the Maclaurin polynomial. So uh, uh, piece of n of x uh, here, if uh, c is equal to 0, if f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x plus and so on, um, plus the uh, nth derivative of f evaluated at 0 times x sub uh, x to the n divided by n factorial. Taylor's theorem pretty much says um, the above, but here with the remainder that uh, the polynomial can be expanded, it looks like almost uh, in infamy. Uh, so the, the last tilde part um, can be determined by a remainder. So um, if f is a function differentiable uh, with n plus 1 derivatives on some open interval i containing uh, the value c. Then for each x in uh, the interval, there exists a, a xi <laughs> between x and c such that we have f of x that the function can be written as such with the Taylor uh, polynomial uh, uh, continuing um, plus and so on with some remainder and the remainder can be proven um, uh, to be a fixed uh, uh, quantity uh, that we call uh, R sub N of X. Well, uh, let's look at a few problems just as an introduction. So if we take this problem, we want to expand it by, by writing this, uh, this is as the Maclaurin, as it says here, so this is going to be the um, the fourth n is equal to four polynomial here um, of x. So this is going to be written as f of zero plus f prime evaluated at zero times x plus f double prime at 0 times x squared all over 2 factorial plus f triple prime evaluated at 0 x to the third over 4 factorial excuse me 3 factorial plus the fourth derivative evaluated at 0 times x to the 4 all over 4 factorial. So then we have to find those terms. Since they said Maclaurin, that means that 
c is set to equal to 0. So we evaluate f of 0. This is e to the 0. We get 1. We need four derivatives, right? So f prime of x is equal to 4 times e to the 4x. f double prime at x is equal to 4 times 4. We get 16 times e to the 4x f triple prime at x is 16 times 4, 64 times e to the 4x. And then the fourth derivative at x is 64 times 4, you get 256 times e to the 4x. Now we evaluate uh, these terms at 0. We, we have here this one, f of 0 is 1, f prime of 0 is equal to 4, f double prime of 0 is equal to 16, f triple prime of 0 is equal to 64, and the fourth derivative, sorry about that, old folk coming out in me, evaluated at 0 is that 256. And we're going to plug those terms into this polynomial here. So. This is the the uh, the fourth uh, polynomial or the polynomial with the uh, the term uh, going out to four uh, units. This is equal to f of zero is one plus f prime of zero. That's four it's times x plus f double prime at zero. That's sixteen times x squared all over 2 factorial, which is just 2, plus f triple prime, get 64 times x to the third. That's divided by three factorial. And then the fourth one here is 256 times x to the fourth, and that's all over 4 factorial. And we can simplify that. This is 1 plus 4x plus 8x squared plus 64 all over 6, 3 factorial 6, times x to the third plus the 256 divided by uh, 4 factorial is uh, the 4 times the 6, get 24, this is times x to the 4th, sorry. So we write the answer now, this is 1 plus 4x plus 8x squared plus 32 over 3x to the third plus and the 256 divided by 24 is reduced also to 32 over 3x to the fourth. Took my sins and put them in a bag. Then he threw the bag away. Thank you. So now number. 17. This is a good one. So here c is equal to 0. That's the same thing up here because we're dealing with the Maclaurin uh, series. Oh, these are series, by the way. So we have f of 0. This is sine of 0. We get 0. f prime of x is equal to cosine x. F double prime of x is negative sine x. F triple prime of x is negative cosine x. How far to go? And equal to 5. The fourth derivative is sine x. 
fifth derivative gives us cosine x. So now we evaluate these terms at uh, x equal to 0. This is f prime of 0. That's equal to 1. f double prime at 0. Well, sine of, z of 0 is 0. f triple prime at 0 is negative 1. The fourth derivative at 0 is 0. Then the fifth, oops, the fifth derivative at 0 gives us 1. Notice that we get zeros for the alternating terms, and then the other uh, alternations uh, is uh, plus or minus 1. So that's going to be key to whether it's sine x or cosine x. So now we list the terms out. Um, <clears throat> so this is the fifth polynomial of x for this sine x. And, and so we have f of 0. Let me just write everything out. Plus f prime of 0 times x plus f double prime at 0 times x squared over 2 factorial plus f triple prime at 0 times x to the third divided by 3 factorial plus the fourth derivative evaluated at 0 times x to the fourth all over 4 factorial then plus the fifth derivative evaluated at 0 times x to the fifth is all over 5 factorial. Now we put the terms in there that we need. So f of 0, that gave us 0. Let's just write everything here, and then the next time we'll, put, we'll clean it up. So f prime of 0 is 1. So this is plus 1 times x is just x. And then we move to the next one, plus f double prime 0 is 0. Right. And then the next one, f triple prime is negative 1. That's negative 1 times x to the third over 3 factorial. That's 6. Plus the fourth derivative at 0 is 0. And then the fifth derivative gave us 1 times x to the fifth. And this is over 5 factorial. So that's 120. So now we can clean that up. And this is just x minus x to the third over 6 plus x to the fifth over 120. So this one, we have. Remember, c is equal to 0. So we write f of x as x plus 1 to the negative first power. f of 0 is 1. Now, f prime of x is This is negative times x plus 1 to the negative 2. f double prime at x is 2 times x plus 1 to the negative 3. f triple prime at x is negative 6 times x plus 1 to the negative 4. Then the fourth derivative at x is 24 times x plus 1 to the negative 5. Then the fifth derivative at x is negative 120. That's the negative 5 times the 24 x plus 1 to the negative 6. This is the 
2. So now we evaluate these terms at c equal to 0 because we're still dealing with the Maclaurin. So we got f of 0 is 1. What about the f prime of 0? It's just the coefficients. That's the neat thing about how we try to do it. f double prime at 0 is 2. f triple prime at 0 is negative 6. The fourth derivative at 0 is 24. And the fifth derivative at 0 is negative 120. Now notice that the signs alternate. And that'll be key later on when we get to some later sections when we go into depth uh, with uh, these series. So here we have the, the fifth polynomial. Looking at that. Of x. So, you know, is, is f of uh, 0, that's 1, put that there. Then it's minus, because f prime of 0 is negative 1, so it's minus here, this is x, is divided by um, the 1 factorial, which is just 1. Then it's plus 2 times x squared, right? all over 2 factorial, then it's minus here, this is 6 times x to the third divided by 3 factorial, then it's plus 24 times x to the fourth over 4 factorial, minus 120 times x to the fifth all over 5 factorial. Now something interesting happens with this polynomial. The terms upstairs and downstairs cancel out. Let's see, this is 1 minus x plus, well 2 divided by 2 factorial is, is 1 times x squared. This is minus 3 factorial is 6, so 6 divided by 6 is just that leaves that negative 1 times x to the third. Plus 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2. Well, that's 24, so 24 divided by 24 cancels out. We just have left x to the fourth. Then minus 120 divided by 5 factorial. 5 factorial is 120. This is just minus x to the fifth. Okay. Now let's see if I can uh, just look at maybe three more problems, just run through those. I think the more the better. Here, um, uh, just the example of um, Taylor's polynomial uh, using the same schematic scheme. But the polynomials are written a little bit different here for Taylor's. This is um, uh, uh, n is 3, so this is p sub 3 of x. Now here's how it's supposed to be written. It's going to be f of c, which is 1, right, plus f prime of c times x minus 1 all over 1 factorial plus f double prime at c. And Go ahead and just plug in c equal to 1, I'm sorry, um, times x minus c or x minus 1 to the second divided by 2 factorial plus f triple prime, c is 1, times x minus 1 to the third all over 3 factorial. And that's as far as they want you to go. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to to put in that value for C. Okay. So f of 1 is equal to 2, right? 2 divided by 1. Now f, I'm going to write as 2 times x to the negative 1. So f prime of x is negative 2 times x to the negative 2. f double prime of x is 4 times x to the negative 3. And the last one that you need, because you're only going out to uh, n equal 3, this is negative 12 times x to the negative 4. Now we, we plug in uh, x equal to c, which is 1, we get negative 2 double prime at 1 
is 4 and then f triple prime at 1 is negative 12. Okay, so we list it out. This is p sub 3 of x is f of 1, that's 2, right? And then it's going to be minus, it's plus, but this sign here is negative, so it's minus 2 times x minus 1. Then the next one is plus 4 times x minus 1 to the second divided by 2 factorial. Then the last one there is this f triple prime, which is minus 12 times x minus 1 to the third all over 3 factorial. Now we can clean it up, right? Somebody's calling. Who's my wife? I gotta hurry up and finish. This is 2 minus 2 times x minus 1 plus 4 divided by 2 is just 2 times x minus 1 to the second minus 3 factorial 6. 12 divided by 6 is um, 2. So this is minus 2 times x minus 1 to the third. Let me do this one. I do this one and then I'm going to be done. So here, f of 4, because c is equal to 4, this is the square root of 4. We get 2. f prime of x. Think about x as being x to the one half. So this is one half times x to the negative one half. Got to go out n equal three. F double prime of x is negative one over four times x to the negative three halves. And then here the third derivative is 3 over 8 times x to the negative 5 halves. And we plug in for x this value for c equal to 4. So f prime of 4 is 1 divided by 2 times the square root of 4. So we get 1 4 f double prime at 4 is negative 1 over 4 times 4 to the 3 half power. So or the square root of 4 to the third. This is negative 1. This is 4. Can you see that? I guess my writing should be a little bit slow. This is, this is 2 to the second. raised to the 3 half power. This is negative 1 over, this is 4 times 2 to the third. So we get 8. We get negative 1 over 32. And the triple derivative is this 3 over 8 times 2 to the second, which is 4 raised to the the 5 halves power, so this is 3 over 8 times, this is 2 to the 5th, 32. So we get 3 over 2 fifth and 6.
So now we expand this to the fourth derivative, so the third derivative, so this is p sub 3 of x, and this is the first term, the f of uh, c, which is 2, and then it's plus f prime of uh, 4, which we get 1 fourth, times x minus Four, and this is uh, to the first power divided by one factorial. Move to the next one. This is f double prime. That's the minus one over thirty-two times x minus four to the second, all over two factorial. Then this is plus. 3 over 256 times x minus 4 to the third, and this is over 3 factorial. Now let's clean that up. This is 2 plus well, nothing here, x minus 4 over 4 minus x minus 4 to the second over 32 times 2, 64, plus x minus 4 to the third. This is the 3, and this is 3 factorial, so that's 3 times 2 times 1. So the 3s of counts we have left are 2 times 256. We get 512. And the signs are... Uh, alternating um, after the first term, right? Check that and make sure that yeah, f of 4 is 2 and then f prime uh, here of uh, x is 1 half times x to the uh, negative square root uh, and uh, x to the negative 1 half power and so yeah, everything is positive there. That looks good. Well, I won't be able to finish the last one. I need to call, call home and check on the wife. Thank you.